Each of these players has five more turns left to make their fortune in this episode of the Real People Multi-Game Solitaire Meg Term. And it's time once again, and I thought maybe it'd be fun for you to listen to me muse about each person's kind of scoring position or money-making position should the game, were the game to end right now. I mean, things can certainly change. So our money leader right now is Junior. Let's look at Junior's assets. Junior's strong in finance. He has no competitors, right? So he's gonna, he, he'd be pulling in um, 48 there. There is this nationalized space, which is kind of void. So as long as he keeps that, he's assured of 48. Not a lot of other properties on the board though. He's, he's done a lot with his military. He tried to take Russia and that gambit failed, um, which kind of hurts his chances. So he's got 48 coming in there, you know, almost nothing from media and a little bit of defense. Um, so that's about where he is. Now let's, let's move on to Smiley. Smiley, who is the mouse corporation here. He's got some in food, decent in um, nanotech, good in nanotech, good in oil. Um, Let's say right now she's probably scoring more than Junior, but I, I guess we can figure it out. So she's getting 10 off of aerospace, off of food. She's getting uh, 16, so that's 26 already. At, yeah, it's, it's pretty clear. 40 off, off of nanotech and another, um, let's see, one competitor there, 30 off of oil. So she's doing better, but she has... Uh, less cash on hand. So right now I would say probably Junior is beating Smiley in terms of points. Um, another, how much money does he have? He's got 25 on him, it looks like Sunny. Sunny's got Globo. Globo's a little more spread out maybe. He's He's got a monopoly on metals. That's, that's gonna be his big one. As long as he can keep that, that's 60 right there. Decent in media, but media there's a lot of competitors so it's not gonna be that much. That's only four per Thing. So that's only eight right there. Food, you know, so here you can see uh, the difference in, no, yeah, a little bit difference in competitors. There's two competitors in food, and so these are each worth eight. So that's double what it's worth in media just because of competition. Oh, I'm sorry, media, this is six each. That's 12, sorry. Uh, defense, yeah, not a lot going for him either. His main thing is metals. If he can keep that, he can stay in the running. Um, but it's nice to have this little diversity too. This biotech isn't bad. That's that's ten right there. That's almost as much as um, as his media. All right, let's move on to Weasel. Weasel, our kleptocrat. Um, though he doesn't have. Oh yeah, he has. He has Russia right now. He lost one kleptocracy and gained another. That's what happened that last round of turns. Weasel is got. Who is he? He's Windows. Okay, so he's got the biotech, and that's about it. Biotech and just a little bit in some other places. Um, that's that's ten right there, ten right there. So he's got a couple like strong companies being the only competitor in their field, and then biotech, he's going to be pulling in um, forty. So that's sixty plus a little bit in food. Yeah, so he's he's doing okay. Cowboy, cowboy is actually doing pretty nice. He's got. Um, He's dominating aerospace and solar with only one competitor in each. So that's 80 right there. Um, cash on hand is low, uh, as is everyone else, really, except for Junior. And Sonny has got a little bit more. Um, and then he's got a, a smattering in other places. But really, his big is going to be aerospace and solar. If he can hold on to that, he maybe has a shot. Let's go on to his turn right now. All right, quickly. So, uh... Cowboy, he do, 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 do. I said quickly, but then a bunch of noise happened. Cowboy played uh, Mercenaries Demand Pay, which just made some people spend some money for having mercenaries. And then he followed it up by doing a payout. Junior, he started buying in robotics, opened up a new new industry that people weren't in. And Smiley, she went ahead and she took Great Russia from Weasel before he could do anything. Uh, she gave up her media company to Sonny in order for his promise not to, to help out. He was the only other person with mercenaries. If any mercenaries were in there, she would have lost, but she, she went ahead and took it. And so now she's got pretty smooth sailing to the end. She can just take a few things and be done with it so long as no one messes with her great Russia. But she's got some mercenaries to protect herself. Sonny, he, um, 
he also went into robotics. And then Weasel, for his part, he opened up the biotech uh, clones so that he could make soldiers and then went ahead and got some mercenaries for himself um, so that maybe a repeat of the Great Russia fiasco doesn't happen again. All right, so we're going to move on to Junior here. His final card of the game is Middle Class Revolt. She's won dictatorship, becomes a democracy. Elections are held immediately. Each media company has one vote. Um, all right, that, that could do something. Anything else in there? Any nationalized companies in the country become unowned. Hmm. That might actually be useful to him if he could do that on China. But then he's going to lose China. But he could get rid of this nationalization, play this before his turn, and then go ahead and buy that up. Um, that could be interesting. That might be a move he might want to do. We'll see. He's probably going to do a payout on this turn, though, because if he doesn't, someone else is going to do it. Okay, Junior did his payout. Smiley, she nabbed an oil company here. Sonny, he... Do, 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 do. Oh, he bought another um, robotics company. Weasel, he bulked up on even more mercenaries. And then Cowboy, he purchased the first software company of the game. He has an automatic competitor here in open source, however, but um, it's not that bad. It's Smiley's turn. She's about to do a big deal with Cowboy. Um, Cowboy has a lot in aerospace, less in oil since she took one of his. He is going to give her all of aerospace for all of oil, um, because he's got that special card that lets him pay off oil, pay out oil again, and he knows that she can just take this company anyway. So, and it's her turn, so it's in her, her interest to do this deal right now, because then she can immediately do the payout since she's starting off the round. Uh, the card she drew was Wiki Syndicalism by the way, which um, changes a democracy into a wiki syndicate, which is um, a fictitious form of government that syndicalizes companies, uh, which is a, has a certain game effect. And so that's kind of fun. She might be able to make use of it. Let's see, these mouses go away, and then we need some new Lenogos. Here we go. All right, so she's going to get some money right now, which is nice for her. And I don't think that was supposed to be there. Okay. Cowboy's going to play his card right now, too, while he has all the oil companies. There's no reason to wait. So he's going to pull in 60 as well. So the reason to wait would be to not have it appear like you have the most money, which it certainly appears right now. He's got 120s, which is more than anyone else. Sunny is getting away with by being able to buy up most of the soft, the robotics here, which is pretty nice for him. Weasel got away with taking this kleptocracy, um, the Sian, back from uh, uh, Smiley there and took away one of her nanotech co companies after doing so. Cowboy's buying into software and Junior bought into software as well. So that's where we're at right now as we move into... Sonny's starting round. Um, he got corporate raids. That's the one where he can steal any company. That's a pretty, that's a nice uh, flexible one, which could be useful to him. But he's probably going to want to do a payout right now, um, which means he might want to grab his metal company since he's going to take the asteroids. And then, yeah, so I think he'll probably be using corporate raid asteroids. He's got to spend three to get the asteroid company. All right, two, three. And then use his corporate raid. Did I already have him use that? Subversion. Oh, that's that's not in it. Okay. Use the corporate raid to take this metal company here. I don't know why I stuck a mercenary there. I'm not paying too good of attention. All right, there we go. And then he'll go ahead and pay out while he can. Which is going to give him... Uh, 48, but I think Junior's going to use this opportunity to make there be an oversupply on the metal. So that is going to um, make it so that there's one more competitor. So he's going to lose 10 bucks off the deal. Uh, normally it would be 60. Instead, he's only going to be getting 50, which is still a, a good payout. And, you know, these are like supposed to be millions or billions of dollars. I can't remember. So it's still a lot of money. Conceptually, these kinds of games, I've said it before, I'll say it again, it's kind of hard to feel like you're losing in the game. So you always, even if you don't have any cash, you have a ton of assets on the board. Uh, I suppose you could end up with nothing, but I've never seen that in any of my planes of Megacore. 
All right, so after Weasel took this company from Cowboy, Cowboy didn't really have anything to do on his turn. He could purchase a company here or here, but that would lead to uh, that company just getting stolen. So he's just kind of pouring money down the toilet. He has no military, no, no countries to speak of. So he just pulled in a mercenary. Um, Junior did the same thing, just kind of as a defensive measure. There's a lot of mercenaries out there. Um, and again, he didn't want to buy a company. He didn't have anything that he could really use to attack anybody. He had five, I guess. He could have taken one of these, but anyone else could have defended it. There was a lot out there, so it just didn't seem worth his time. Um, and then Smiley, she... She probably, oh, she got mercenaries too. No one wants, she, she could buy this, but she can always buy it later. It's, it's a profit of two for her if she takes that company, uh, buys it for four. Um, so it's, I don't know, getting some mercenaries seem good, especially since um, uh, Weasel has been, been acting a little rougher. Let's go ahead and move the active player card to Weasel now, because it's going to be his turn to go first. Lucky him. And this will be the last turn of the game. He's got a corporate raid. Again, that's the card that lets people take cards. So everyone gets one more turn, and that's going to do it. Weasel just pulled in $120. He did a corporate raid to take this company here, uh, which gave him a, a biotech monopoly. Uh, took a, the paid action, the payout action, and then also used his tech boom card, which let him do a, an additional payout for particular industries. And of course, he chose biotech because that was worth 60 for him. $120, that's a lot to get in one turn. Cowboy, for his final turn, bought this company here. It is in a kleptocracy, but since Weasel's already gone, Weasel's not going to have any more turns. He figures it's safe to go ahead and buy there. That's going to bring us to Junior. Junior's going to do a, a special move. He's going to do middle class revolt on his own country. So his own country is actually going to lose it um, because... Sonny's got the majority of media. He sees no reason not to take it. Um, so Sonny takes over China. And then um, any nationalized countries become unowned. So that's going to go away, giving uh, Junior the ability to th then buy that company. So he's going to, one, two, three, four. And it's kind of a one of those... Uh, this is one of those unrealistic situations, not that this game is wholly realistic otherwise, but unrealistic situations where knowing when the game ends uh, creates some odd, but he willingly gave up control over this massive country in order to buy one company that was otherwise nationalized. Very gamey, very weird, um, not something I particularly love. Smiley on her final turn grabbed this, this company here from... From Sonny, that's going to keep him from having a metal monopoly at game end. There's nothing he can really do about that unless he, I guess he could try and take Great Russia. And if he did that, then he could steal it back. But that's a that's another another matter. Uh, she is also going to play this wiki syndicalism card, um, which is the hypothetical government, ill-defined government. Um, she's going to turn Mirko Sur into a wiki syndicalism, uh, thinking... And I think she's right in this, that um, Sonny, so Sonny gets a automatic to syndic syndicate some company, um, thinking he'll pick this one. Weasel just got 120 off of this Monopoly, and he's going to get another 60 at the end of the game if this isn't here. Now, this is going to change Weasel's profit off of biotech to 40 um, at the end of the game. So that's a difference of 20 that they just kind of chipped away from him there through a little bit of um, common interest teamwork. We'll go on to Sonny's last turn, and then we will do some scoring. Sonny bought the last company available here in software, so all the companies got bought in this game. Um, before scoring happens, Weasel is going to go ahead and just do robot emancipation to bother people. He'll take one off of Globo here. And that becomes another syndicate. Um, is there a syndicate. We'll just say that means syndicate. No, well, we'll say this means syndicate. Uh, so I don't have to fish for the, the proper. I could reach into that bag right now, but it just seems like it'd be a big hassle to do that on camera. So that's going to um, make there be a, another competitor there and also decrease the number of companies that Sunny owns. All right, so I'm going to go in and do scoring. Then I'll come back to you and announce the results. 
All right, before we get to final scoring, I gotta tell you about a rule I was getting wrong. Uh, just something I kind of overlooked. Compe number of competitors here, that that includes the person who's scoring. I was playing it so it didn't. So I was thinking like people who are competing with the person who's scoring. It said it very clearly even on here. And if I'd read the rules a little more carefully, it's, I sometimes do worse with rules when I already know the game because then I don't, and I hadn't played in a while, then I don't really read up as carefully. It says there can be only be blah, blah, blah. There's an asterisk that points out a mistake I made. So the upshot of how that changed the game, I mean, we've got a very definite scale here. Um, they're mainly just two apart. But if you're playing with uh, five players, normally if five people are in a industry, you're actually getting a, a net loss for every company you have in that industry. How I was playing it is there's no way you can get a loss on the company uh, because the, the most competitors you could have are four. And the only way, yeah, so there'd be no loss on having that company there um, for, for payouts. Because generally you're not going to pay out on a, a company when you have a lot of competitors anyway. You're only going to get that payout at the end of the game. Um, so, you know, at worst they're going to break even. So that, that skewed people's decision making, but we're not going to worry about that too much. It, but if you're, if you're watching this video to get a feel for this game, not a very good video for that purpose because a lot of this game is talking. Uh, to your neighbors, um, just know that I got that wrong. So let's look at our, our how things shook out. We have as our big we winner Weasel uh, with 223, then Cowboy and Smiley both tied for second place, 210 each, S then followed by Junior, and then Sunny in last place. I'm not sure if there's a tiebreaker in this game. Game end. The game ends. Player with the most. It's, it's a, oh, it's just a draw. All right, that's I like that. I, I don't I don't like games that are so picky about tiebreakers. I'd rather I'd rather ha there be able to be multiple winners in a game. I think that makes more sense to me, and especially in a negotiation game, because then maybe you can negotiate a victory, um, a shared victory, with someone if you can. You can kind of team up, and that makes for a more dynamic play environment because those teams aren't enforced by the game. So you know you could. Uh, change alliances, you could um, stick to it. You know, it makes for a lot more interesting of a situation than when those kinds of interpersonal dynamics are hardwired. Um, so, there we go. We got Weasel as our big winner. Nice job, Weasel. Everyone can applaud for him now. He is a true businessman.